great to have you join us. This is Enterprise of Morning, reaching you from my headquarters in Lagos and Nigeria, and Enterprise Television, it is. I am Henry, you will be king. In a bit, we're going to our newspaper headlines and see all that we have for you this morning, and after that, in the GV will be our main conversation also for today, so I'll get everything or produce it for you. Please do well to join our community and have a say in what we say. We are at enterprisetvnews.com, that's our website, and also like, comment respectfully and follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV S7. Um, we meet today in the studios to go through all that we have for you this morning with fine analysis and submissions of courses. Uh, um, legal luminaries. We have uh, Barrister Vance Ufeli, uh, Barrister at Law and Public Affairs Analyst, and Barrister Tunji Abdul Hamid, uh, Barrister at Law also, and the Public Affairs Analyst. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having today. Me. All right, so let's kick off our newspaper headlines today with a very uh, juicy story um, coming from the Guardian newspaper. And um, let, let me start from what's making the big story here. And um, it's on Southwest at 39 Dam, so Moribund, over poor maintenance, obsolete equipment. We can no longer afford for the hikes in interest rates. And that's coming from uh, manufacturers as they want Kandosu. And also, interestingly, we have um, Yusuf Visit, a vandalized canoe high court, say sensitive documents on Ganduji uh, stolen. Now, let me just read some bit of that particular story where we have a protest that's scattered away Ganduji's corruption trial uh, documents, and that's coming from the governor, Abba Yusuf. Governor Abba Yusuf um, Kaber, uh, Yusuf of Kano State, has reported that the alleged corruption case files related to the APC National Chairman Ganduji, which were held at the state high court, were stolen by violent uh, protesters. The Kano State High Court was among uh, numerous locations vandalized and set on fire by protesters demanding an end to government corruption due to hunger and starvation in the land. During the visit to assess the damage at the State High Court on Wednesday, Governor Yusuf expressed concerns that the corruption case files against former Governor Ganduji had been removed uh, from the court. Um, there's no other uh, to, <laughs> of course, express this further and make Nigerians understand this better than, than both uh, gentlemen we have uh, today. So any of you can actually take a swipe on, on this. How does it work when a file cases you know, are made present in the court of law? Uh, this is physical. Yes. Why can't we have, you know, in 2024, e-everything? Why is it difficult to have an e-version of um, such case files, if really um, we should take this particular uh, story uh, seriously. It, it is the litigants that tender evidence for the court. A litigant who have gathered evidence in the course of uh, his uh, transaction with the adverse party, if the transactions are e-transactions, mm -hmm. of course, he will bring... Um, the evidence under reference, he will print them. That is, if uh, they are not voice, if they are, then he will um, <clears throat> file a certificate uh, of electronically generated evidence. But for the Gandhi's case, we know that there is a video <coughs> online that was uploaded then where he was uh, packing these uh, dollars. Is that the allege allegedly? Because yeah, mm, allegedly, <laughs> uh, allegedly, so where was <laughs> <packing>? <laughs> you, know, you know that kind of evidence you cannot print that. Mm. You understand? Mm. So you would download into a flash drive and attach to the case file, mm. so that the court will have access to the evidence and evaluate it. Uh, sometimes they play it even in the courtroom. Uh, you see it. So the kind of evidence you have is what you tender. All your evidence cannot be e evidence. Okay. Electronic, some might be material evidence, some might be you know, but what you have is what you tender, and it is the litigant and the lawyers that will tender. That it's not the courts, it's not the court that will tell the litigant that all your evidence must be electronic, 
or, or you, 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 you don't go and there. One thing about evidence is that the court wants it in its primary form. In the 2024? No, that's all over the world. All over the world? Yes, wow. primary form. Do you know that if you make photocopy of an original, it's not admissible? Except proper foundation has been laid that the original cannot be found or that the original is with the adverse party. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The only ground upon which photocopy evidence can be admitted is only when the original is either with the adverse party, the original cannot be found, or the nature of the evidence is such that what you could have is, which is also contestable. You understand? Uh, so the, just, I'm just laying a little, mm -hmm. for, so the court will have a case file. Okay. Except maybe what you are saying is when litigants conclude, um, they, when they conclude trial, except you are saying the court ought to have torn the case file to an electronic mm -hmm. file. Is that what you are saying? Except you are saying that. Uh, but this one is during protests, they invaded the court. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm seeing traces of uh, sabotage. From? Yes, yeah, sabotage from uh, whoever is interested, from interested parties. Because this is a, this is a, is a complex. So why would they just single out the, the, the court where the Abuja case is and then take the file? Or destroy evidence, and then that is well. According to them, it's it's the, the whole the complex was the set whole ablaze. The complex so was set ablaze. Okay, well, that, I, I, that, that, that complaint that complaint is valid. Mm. The whole place was set ablaze. But I still think the the Gambridge's case eh, can still be recommenced mm. because the major evidence, the primary evidence, which is like their star evidence. Is a video clip where that so if there are other corruption cases, the case the court uh, sorry the, the the state have more than one charge. You understand? Exactly. Because, uh, yes, because that one is just a charge. Mm, exactly. That one. So other charges. Mm. You know they did their homework. Yes. Other charges. So they, perhaps that's what they are talking about. So if uh, they should, they they must go and uh, look for a way to recommence the case and reproduce those evidence. But that's the only way they can continue. All right. Ambassador Tunji, where does this leave us? Because Nigerians are so used to issues like this. In fact, some are even blaming the current government that they are part of all of this. Is it possible that they might be, you know, trying to have a, a good handshake with the past governor so they can forgive and wipe away his sins? Is it possible? Uh, you know, there, there, no, there's nothing that is impossible in Nigeria. Everything I thought I wouldn't be able to tell you yes or no. In Nigeria, there's nothing that is not possible. You can be, especially in politics. Today, you can be together, uh, you can be enemy today in politics, in terms of a different uh, idea. Uh, tomorrow, once your ideas are align or your interests are align, you come friends again. So mm. it's possible. There's no possibility. But I'm not seeing that yet. Okay. I'm not seeing that yet. The, what I'm seeing is that I'm even thinking the other way. Probably the government is saying this. I'm sorry, I'm bringing the damages on out to indirectly even indict Gambia mm. to, to say probably it was one who arranged those uh, attacks so that his file can be can be missed, can be, can, be, can, be, can be taken away or can be uh, set ablaze. Of course, there's a young, so there's there's a young, that, young that, man that, who has been fingered. Actually, you know, who, who used to be an errand um, a man for uh, Gambia and of course with the APC, who is like the chief. A culprit in all of this, working for the ABC. Is that has that, has that been announced by the police, or is that just a, a social media uh, information? It's making round, of uh, course. So, uh, but that is uh, confirmed by the police mm. that uh, he is. Uh, investigation uh, should not. Yeah, so I, I I don't want to believe that uh, there is an action okay. because I, I know this is a political tussle, uh, tussle and then the power play. They they see Gandude now as a major enemy. But it is at the 27, they don't want to play with it. If you romance with your political opponent or enemy and then you give it that opportunity, you may think uh, it will be able to, it will, it will not allow you to rest. Except there is a compromise. Say, okay, don't worry, I have given it up. You can do your check of two times and then uh, if there is that one. But that one too, no politician will accept that one because uh, you can't take anybody, anybody's word for, for what it is in politics. That's the last minute. So I don't believe that. Uh, it was because of answer. I'm not. I don't, I'm not taking that line. My thinking is that, that those information were brought out just probably to even paint a 
Ganduji as a bad person more to, to say to indict him and say he is the one following the the protest or violation of the of, of the court or whatever they have done in court. That that's what I'm thinking. And just like my colleague said, the fact that the file is bought will not end the case. Especially this damages case is still at the early stage. But do you think this could possibly be a home run? For the lawyers uh, defending uh, Ganduji to say because some materials are burnt, no, therefore no, we might not have the necessary. No, uh, no, no, that, that's what I'm trying to explain. That you see, it's, it's at the early stage, mm. and the, what happens is this, in the U.S. system, a criminal matter. One, the matter has not gone to trial. You don't you don't put all the documents before the court. Mm. Oh, it hasn't gone to trial. It hasn't gone to trial. Oh, 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 oh. It hasn't gone to trial. The only thing that that would, that would have been burnt in the that matter is the charges, no. which is like about a two or three pages. The recording, the previous recordings of, mm. of the court mm. in terms of a being granted or being not granted or this are, what has happened. Mm. So they can start the novel. That's what we call it. Start oh. afresh. You can then file a new charge, you are in, and then they continue again. I believe they still have the 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 evidence. With them and thank God, in criminal have... proceedings, you don't front load. Yes. You don't. You don't front load. You don't front load. And what does that mean? Front load. You know, if you have a, a civil case, for example, when you are when you file for a civil case, you front load all the documents you intend okay. to tender. Oh, all you, 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 you front to load them. Case. You front load them ahead mm -hmm. of even before the commencement. At the time you are filing, you front load everything. But even so, that. But even at that, because you are not going to front load original, exactly. oh. you retain original mm. because original is what you tender. You understand? Uh -huh. But even at that, you you, you still cannot say but in you the cannot commence the suit again. Trading, have you have you have you, observed, have you experienced this sort of thing happening in Nigeria before? Yes. Now the and what was the SARS the, the SARS but I had a case there at the Bushiri. You know the whole court of Rasaka yes, bond. Yeah. Yes. When we reconvene. Uh, that was in uh, 2020. The court asked us to go and get all uh, doc for cases that are part head. So that's civil, civil, civil cases. Uh, civil cases. Civil cases. For those that are part head, um, the court asked us to go and uh, excavate those documents with us. Then the court would check because they left some things. Okay. Some things were just scattered. Some were burnt. You understand? So what we did was we brought what we had. The court brought what they had, and we had to harmonize. Oh. You understand? For the documents that you cannot trace again, those ones are gone. You commence <laughs> your case with what you so still left. Have. You understand? So it happened. It happened then. And no, you, you see, he, he, for those who don't, you, 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 most of this, what happened in Lagos when that was, most of the cases were say, it's like those cases have not gone far. Mm. You reconstruct the file. You reconstruct the file. You will bring mm. your documents. Mm. The other, mm. the office, office of lawyers were not a bond. Yeah. So the documents that, you know, when you file documents, uh, processes in court. You must serve the other party. Mm. So I will have, I will have the document, you have my document. Mm. Two of you bring it, bring it together. Court will sit and then analyze it, mm. and then you control the file. Mm. But in criminal cases, I said, you know, they, we don't control. Mm. And the, at the point where the trials, uh, you only tender your documents at the point of trial. Mm. So if the trial, if trial has not have, have, have not commenced, then there's nothing nothing much as well. There's not, nothing more in the file. If you have, if you have, if you have commenced trial, it may be a very setback. <laughs> A big be, setback. That will be a big likely end of the case. Wow. Mm. Because we're not able to get those documents or, 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 or evidence exhibits. And the court cannot proceed without evidence. Mm. Mm. All right. At least um, we are happy <laughs> now that the case is still very uh, much alive and uh, we'll see where that uh, takes us to. But let's go to the Vanguard news paper today. The big story here says hurdles ahead of CNG vehicles. Rolling out investigation, and it says here that local mechanics, uh, technicians, and see and um, at sea with uh, technology users still unsure of safety. A massive awareness training lacking on the top strip of the same newspaper. We have anger grieves the rep, the speakers are withdrawing the counter a subversion a bill. We have taken action against the Simon Epa secessionist activities that's coming from the Finnish. Um, Government. Now let's get to this issue of uh, CNG. Yesterday we did say that uh, President Bola Mexico built the 30 CNG the buses to over 200 million Nigerians with the desire that that will trickle down the cost of uh, transportation in Nigeria. But of course, um, Vanda has done an, an exclusive investigation to that fact. And they have said that it will be very difficult to have that um create a good perception for nigerians why till today we still don't have 
automotive technologists who understand how this work. They went through about um, five bespoke um, automotive shops to interview them. And they said they don't even know what that is, how it works, and so on. How do you think it's, it's possible to have a technology introduced to a system when there's no input to see how we can service them? Let that, me, let that, start with you. that is um, another thoughtless um, policy of the government. Because even if you have those uh, CNG uh, engine vehicles and you have bought them, you want to unleash them out, how about the maintenance of it? And you have 30, right? Yeah, 30. You just for, for the meantime, actually. He, he said he for a to, test run? Yes. Okay, but you know, these things are machine and they are subject to uh, maintenance. Okay, so how are you going to maintain? Have we thought of that? Then uh, I, what I what I would have um, expected the federal government to do was to bring in experts that would train our existing automobile uh, engineers, train them on the CNG angle to automobile. Okay, before you unleash it to um, the public for usage. Okay, so that one you are going to in a way create employment and develop expertise because what will happen is that those little boys who are learning in those shops will pick on new skills okay this could be another way for us to develop further they'll pick up new skills existing automobile engineers will span skills okay then before you start bringing this thing into the country if you because i know that nigerians are very fast learners i remember when the phone came Federal government they didn't take anybody out to go and train on how to repair phone or uh, bring us part here to teach people how to repair phone before they brought it in. They brought it in as people were using it. Some very talented people developed skills almost immediately okay. on how to fix it. Yes, on how to fix it. Okay. But that could be deep because that is electronic and that is not, um, it is not uh, masses driven. Like if you have money to purchase from you purchase, if you don't, uh, but for transportation, where everyone is going to rely on mass transit through that process to reduce cost of transportation and all that, there is a need because I mean those buses are not going to run for one one straight year without maintenance. So why are we not thinking about the automobile side of it? Is the federal government asking us to go on YouTube to learn it <laughs> or to go online to learn it? So they, they should, you see, policies should be all around. Because what we we'll criticize now, they'll say we well, have come again that we don't like the president. But most times we we'll tell the president that even the people around the president should know. You understand that, I mean, Nigeria is even talking about the electric cars right now. Okay? But as I speak to you now, I don't think we have the capacity the maintenance uh, capacity, or I don't, I, I'm not even sure we even have the roads and then the e electricity to deploy that. I would to use generators to have those cars charged. You understand? And in the US, you have places like a uh, filling station where they charge them. They have like you, charging stations. Yeah, charging stations. Yeah, those, because the charging is not, uh, it's not a uh, light you just plug to your mm -hmm. house or something. There are charging stations where you take the cars to. And I don't think the supply to charge those batteries is the normal voltage. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they should not have a specialized yeah. uh, hand. So, so they've been doing it in their homes. Yeah, yeah, so we're thinking about all these things. But well, mm -hmm. the, the infrastructure and the human capital and the know-how, okay? We, are, we, we should walk through it. And now that the government is lacking behind, my call to the citizen is that for those who want to seize the future and uh, maximize the future. This is the time to go have those training so that you become pioneers when we fully um, unleash that, that on, in that area. People who have developed skills beforehand will be the ones to earn, you know, pioneer earners into that area. And that is critical. But why, why is government not... Um, because every new face you go, you have new uh, knowledge. You are breaking into grounds, okay? And those grounds are opportunity for employment. They are opportunity for earnings and all that, but the government will need to do something about All it. right, so why we think about the public, um, 
you know, doing something about it, everybody is doing it. One of the concerns from one of the technicians that was interviewed was that this sort of technology should ideally, the system, the way it is built or constructed or built, should be done from the factory itself. Provisions would be made for such kind of technology. Not getting a technology that is um, parallel to another existing technology and wanting them to marry together. For example, he said that if every car in Nigeria should be converted to CNG, it means that your boot session would be given away. So all those opportunities you have taking prop, uh, your goods or service or whatever it is in your boot is gone. So how do you think the perception will even be in the first place, knowing that these are very vital concerns and challenges that Nigerians uh, care so much about? Now, why, why, why I appreciate that, uh, those concerns? I, I think uh, that is not a major concern for me. The CNG buses or CNG, whatever you want to buy, it's not forced on you, it's not compulsory. So you buy car based on your needs. If you believe you need a car that will allow you to put something in your boot or whatever, you won't go for it. So I'm not even concerned more about that. The, the major concern... But the federal government to use it for mass transit. No, that's what I'm saying. The, mass transit, why not? No, they, they have it. They have the they have the loads. No. So that's another that, that area. No, but that is less than... You see, you see, you see, now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. Not even that now. Mm. Now what is that? Look, I'm not, I'm not bothered about government promoting CNG or other bodies they want to promote. It's, it's, it's a good innovation, uh, innovation. They want to change from the norm to another uh, aspect of life. Then my worry is that the, this policy of CNG bodies today now is seen as a government as a solution to our immediate problem of ASHI. But it is. It's not. How can it be? No, just for trans mass transit. How can it be? How can it be that mass transit? We are, we are, I, I tell to... you, I tell you, for the four years of this president, if they are able to get up to 500 uh, 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 buses, uh, uh, CNG buses, I'll, I'll clap for them. So when are we going to do? We are talking about immediate hunger, immediate, immediate impact that has been created by some subsidy. You want to push in it, and you are bringing things that, 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 that is for future. This is for future. It should be for a future policy or program that look, we want to navigate, and then we are trying to encourage people to do this. So I will, I will, I will not go that. But because they are seeing it as the 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 need and what will what will solve the problem of grant, because the 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 substitute remover has made the the pride of fire to go fire, and they want something to substitute it for for it. That look, this is it, so that you won't be spending money to buy fuel again. When are we going to have this fire? The taxi that has been around now that they say they've been giving. I mean, for one year, one year. Because I remember in the the subsidy is gone from the This is one of the solutions brought about by the government that said, look, we are going to provide CNG buses. In all, almost all is a, a, what's it called, brokers to come to the country. He has been talking about it. And now we have just, after one year, we have just 30. Mm -hmm. So, so if that, by next year, another one year, we have 30. It will be 1,000. Another one year, we have 30. 1,000. Yeah, sorry, 120. So, <laughs> let's assume they are want to share that 100. We are, we are at the six stage. How many will go to each state? Which so area will they go? So that one should remove their hands. Which local government will they go? So what do, what they have to do is to to just provide a good environment. People want to engage in those business of providing CNG buses. Mm -hmm. Let them work on it. Let them do. Give, give them credit. Let them, let them provide. Let them provide. The foundation force is to even ensure that look where are we going to the field? In other words, I mean, is that not going to be for CNG buses? It's compressed where, where, gas. Where are the where are the stations? They say all NNPs. Where are the stations? All NNPs. How many NNPs stations have been have, have been have been provided with those facilities? We have the natural gas. Uh, How many of them have been But the facility them? to transmit those compressed natural gas for refilling, uh, they, they, it's not there yet. So once those foundations are laid, people on their own want to do business. We may even invest in it. And people will say, ah, this is better than this. So what the government should do is not to make it like a policy of government to say, we must be the one buying it is, uh, it is, five. it is orderless, it is capitalist. Make, make, make the environment conducive. Anybody who wants to go into that uh, business will now know that, ah, look, I can go, if I go here, if I do this, if I do that. So, then if the government say, just worry, we will we'll provide CNG buses for you people. We will do this and that for you. Nobody can tell me to say, go and provide your car or not. Even if you are doing it for free, I will not go. Because I know 
the fact that we have so many number, how many number of stations that we have, people are still keen for fuel. So now let's talk about that they don't even have uh, 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 the facility on ground. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do anything, you have to go far away from uh, 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 your place, and then you will not you get there. You have to queue for maybe for a day or two or three for you to get there. So what are the foundation they need yeah. to lay before yeah. they can talk about? Uh, uh, so it's not it's not the solution to our immediate problem. The production of the okay, buses uh, it should be the last thing. Yes, you should have you know created the stations have the supply of natural uh, compressed gas, then um, have all the workings, even our roads, that have this galloping and all that, there will be leakages in those things. Mm -hmm. So fix those roads, fix, uh, make provisions for the, the, let's have the refilling process. The bus should be the last thing. But you know this administration, they started now with the last. We go and bring yeah, those buses and dump them. Put, they put the cars because that, 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 that's why when they start why you only have those uh, 30 bodies or whatever now within a uh, month you then uh, see them fizzle out we have uh, vessels any, we have we have we have massive yeah. vessels i listened to uh, malala when he came to i think one of the un uh, convention mm -hmm. where then that was doing donald trump in 2016 or 15. i can't remember now um she came there and um she came from uh, her place to America through the CNG vessel okay. on the sea, mm -hmm. and she was talking about it that uh, it preserves the environment. It's odorless. It's not carbonated. You know, it's a natural way of moving goods from one location to the other, and at the same time keeping the environment away from uh, make, keeping the environment clean and green. You understand? So that is the idea, but. I mean, you, I don't think that um, where these vessels are used, when they were introduced, I don't think the vessels were first purchased before they, they, started, to, they started to think about how to get the infrastructure to make it possible for refilling and all that. We have not done our homework very well. So they will tell you they have a plan for that on paper. Mm. Uh, rather than working on the, on the physical aspect of it, they'll be relying on paperwork. I say, mm. look, we have designed so number of uh, stations for this, we have designed that. Are they working on those uh, facilities? Mm -hmm. Are they on grant? Uh, so they are not. Uh, so uh, once those things are on grant, people on their own will even invest in it. Mm -hmm. So then, so they're not on grant. Now, people will be afraid. Uh, how can I go and do this? How many people will want to buy? And then they, and, so for me, mm. this should not be, I'm not, I, I, I applaud them for trying to think. Uh, uh, outside the bus and doing another thing. But that's, this should not be government policy, economic policy to reduce actually for now. This is a future, this should be it's a, a long-term long plan, mm -hmm. not immediate plan. What we, are, what we need now is immediate solution to the hardship created by subsidy is gone. We even though subsidy is not gone. Uh, it's, it's, still, it's, still, it's still around. And I, I, I was arguing with somebody yesterday, I was saying, look, we when we say we are paying subsidy, lives were better. Then now that say subsidy is gone and we are still paying higher than that subsidy and life is now a different thing. So for me, the problem we have, have been having with this government is that most of their policies are not well thought out. They don't they don't they don't go through it properly to see look what will be the consequences, what will be the effects, what will be the benefits, what will be the disadvantage. They won't look at it. They will first of all push out the policy and now start thinking of uh, the, the, the likely the consequences, the likely what that, and that has been the problem. That, that, and that is the problem with sorting the mover. That has been the problem with the uh, uh, transition of Naira. And those, those two policies are the major problems that have brought us to where we are today. Probably those policies have not existed. Probably the president will, have been, will be doing well. Probably. Yes, so I mean, as, as much as we applaud um, the federal government for the CNG, the reality, according to that investigative report, still shows that most um, mechanics and their, 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 their stations are removing currently taking away some of those uh, CNG tools out of cars that already have, um, have, have asked that it should be you know, installed because they can't um, afford or they can't um, see where to buy those uh, CNG compressed um, the gases. That is the reality that we see with us. And of course, we hope that the needful you know, will be done to ensure that um, it, it takes shape and of course, it runs true. Love to say thank you to Ambassador Vance Philly and uh, Change Up to Our pleasure. For being part of our show today. Thank but you. when we return, Reps, speaker, which will obnoxious bill that could have potentially 
that crippled the civil and liberties in Nigeria. Stay with us in a bit. We'll be right back. Thank you.